Today we're here to talk about these basic startup procedures for the Futura Fusion. The Futura Fusion is essentially a sister boiler to the RBI Futura 3, so the startup procedure will be very similar. The only difference in this unit, of course, is the addition of the uh, secondary heat exchanger on the back of the unit. You should review the package of documentation that you've received with the equipment, and among those pieces of documentation will be the installation and operations manual, which you should take some time to read through briefly you'll find electrical wiring diagrams that you'll also probably need during the startup procedure. Obviously at this point in time we've had power available to the unit and it's checked to be the proper level. We have our water system is full and purged of air. Our gas supply is available and also purged of air and we've assembled some tools for testing the equipment. Among those would be a manometer for testing our gas pressure and our elbow on the unit and also the pilot if required and a combustion analyzer, which is a very, very important tool that we need to properly set up the boiler. Prior to setup, of course, we're going to establish the water flow and uh, make sure that we have uh, adequate flow through the system so that we uh, can take the heat away that the unit's going to generate. Uh, once that's completed, we can power up the unit and uh, initialize our operating sequence by going through the burner programmer. The Futura Fusion is equipped with our heat net onboard control system. This is the uh, display panel here with the, the keyboard access, our up and down arrows, our back and select button. Inside the cabinet, you'll find the heat net board in the lower right hand corner of the cabinet with the components connected to the Honeywell flame safeguard control, which exercises the uh, burner sequence. We have our AC tech variable frequency drive, our high limit control, control transformer here, and our local remote switch. As far as the field wiring is concerned, that'll be brought in through the side of the cabinet and there's a termination block located here at the bottom of the cabinet. 